I think it's important to understand what's happening in the ADHD brain because that creates empathy rather than frustration with our kids. And so there are disrupted connections in the ADHD brain between the emotion area and the prefrontal cortex. And so the prefrontal cortex is the CEO of the brain. It's what's responsible for planning and memory and execution and reasoning skills. And the connections from the amygdala and just the emotion area of the brain, those are disrupted in the ADHD brain. And then we can also look at brain scans and see that there's not enough oxygenation to the prefrontal cortex, right? So that impacts reasoning skills. And we can look at glucose metabolism on PET scans and see that the ADHD brain isn't as efficient at using glucose for energy as a non-ADHD brain is. I mean, glucose is the main source of energy for the brain. So if it's not very efficient at using its energy source, then it isn't going to work as well. And then there are some differences in brain volume between the ADHD brain and a non-ADHD brain. So the ADHD brain is a tiny bit smaller. So there are differences in the brain that we can visualize on neuroimaging scans.